How's it going? I'm at a drive-in movie theater here. This theater was uh, started up in the very early 60s. And I got the Noke to Force Core, which I'll be running with on DI3, Discrimination 3, and ID Mask. I'll probably start out at 65. And I'm going to try to keep the sensitivity cranked up to 99. But this uh, drive-in is just riddled with bottle caps and beaver tails. Uh, the unreal amount of trash. And as, as I go, I'll show you that. There's a lot of coins buried in it. I did find a 1910 penny is the oldest I found in here. So I know it's got to be some silver in here. So we're going to go ahead and get started and see how the force core does. I'm hitting a solid 66 here. My guess it'll be a pull tab. Yeah, pull tab. All right, here's a solid 83 right there. And I got a copper penny right on top. We got a 84, 83, all the way up to into the 90. We're gonna dig it, probably bottle cap. This ground is basically gravel under a tiny bit of sod that's slowly um, developed over the years. Almost impossible to dig bottle cap, like I thought. Got this in general mode now, all metal, just to show you what I'm up against. Pretty much every every couple inches we got a uh, something in the ground. Got a steady 73, 74 here. Pull tab. Getting a little bit broken, 83 to 85, 86. Half a smashed old bottle cap. Got a 83 that's overloading. My guess, bottle cap. Because it is down a little bit. Yeah, I might as well call it a bottle cap. Alright, this is a solid 82. This ends up being a bottle cap. I'm going to have to turn the discrimination up. Getting way too much chattering and just too much metal in here. Zinc. Might turn discrimination up anyway. Alright, within less than a foot. Here's a 84, 86 bottle cap. This is a 82. It's not very deep. Another zinc. There's a 85. Hitting real good at 85 steady. This copper penny, 1974. Okay, I brought discrimination up to 83. It's too much in there. This one's maybe a couple inches deep. That was a solid 85, so whatever it is. It's a Lincoln copper. Another 85 both ways, just like the last signal. A little bit deeper than the copper penny. The reason why I'm running discrimination up to 83 is because it seems to make the bottle caps choppy. Here's a 85, 86. And it creeps up to almost 90 going the other way. Well, that worked so well, did it? Stupid bottle cap. A good example of the amount of trash. I'm in general right now. I'm going to switch over because right in here, it's kind of a bouncy signal, but it's in the 80s. But there's so much stuff around it, I, I want to attempt to dig it and see. This is back in DI3. It's coming up at 83, 85, with all that other stuff mixed in there. All right, my guess was right. It is a quarter. Let's see what else uh, 
comes up when I put it back in general search mode. Yeah, that's right where I dug. Must be another quarter there. Or something. But all the way around it. Can't even hardly move, but something's coming up. Well, 64, right in the same hole. I mean, right in the exact same hole. Look at that. Just pulled it. That quarter was sitting right on that guy. All right, less than a foot away. I'm going to have to dig it. Getting a perfect 86, 84 though, this way, 85. It's not bouncing too much. I'd say it's around five inches or four inches. Pure gravel. Oh, look at that. Hallelujah. Mercury dime. Right next to that quarter. First silver of the day. I don't know what year it is. We'll look later. All right, right on top of where that mercury dime was in that quarter. I moved real slow is why I got the separate uh, discrimination up. It's barely hitting the 83. And I'm talking, it was right on top of that. Right on top of that. Mercury is here, quarters there, whatever it is is right there. It isn't real deep, but let's see what it is. Look at that punched up bottle cap. I'd say all within about a few inches of each other. Uh, I'm telling you right now, that's a plus that I'm seeing with this four score is it's extremely fast recovery. That little coil is just unreal on this thing. There's an 83 this way. And it's bouncing the 83 to 86 that way. Keep in mind, I'm only metal detecting in about a 10 square foot so far. Bottle cap, old one. That real old one. I don't know what kind of beer that one was. Paps Blue Ribbon. PBR, huh? Look at that. Good old Wisconsin. I probably shouldn't dig this, but get a bouncy 83 to a 86. My guess. Bottle cap. Yep, bottle cap. Alright, we got an 84, 85, 86, 87. There's part of a beaver tail. Weird. Pull tab. No way that could have rung up that. We're going to redo it. Alright, right here is whatever. Alright, that's what was ringing up. A dime. Had a beaver tail under it. It's not too bad. Got an 83, 84, 85 that way. All right, dug down two inches, pulled this Lincoln out, copper, but then there's something still in the hole. All right, foil was fairly shallow. Must have been what it was. Just some foil down there off to the side of that. So here we go again. Penny in the foil, and right next to it, 86, 87. Here's the bottle cap and pull tab, beaver tail. All right, now we got a real good 85, 84, 85. And it's a dime. So much trash in here in this little area alone. I'm sure I'm missing a lot of stuff, but not doing too bad. Still stuff all over in here. Terrible. Now, approximately a little over a foot away. Got a real bouncy one, 86, 87. 84, 
bottle cap. Here's a solid 84, 85. It's only a couple inches. 1960, 65. Almost silver. Here's a real solid 85. Dime, damn near on the surface. 85, pretty close to the top of the soil. Copper penny. I got a perfect 88, always. Gotta be a quarter. It is. Alright, I got a... Actually a bunch of stuff here. Getting in the mid 80s. Copper, 89. No, 79. 85, both ways. Not deep at all. Copper penny. Oh no. Couple bucks and change. 1940 Rosie. So there you go. They said that uh force core is wicked fast for recovery and separation. Does a pretty damn good job as far as I'm concerned. 